Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Tops Series 1 Baseball. Six box jumbo, random team break number nine. This is the one where one spot gets you three random teams. So it's only a 10 spot break. All cards ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's triple your names up. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One. Two, three, four, seven, and eighth in final time. Got Jose down to Michael after eight. Four and a four. Hard eight. Eight the hard way for the teams. One, two. Seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time after eight. We've got the Baltimore Orioles all the way down to the Blue Jays. And the Tampa Bay Rays are in there somewhere. All right, Jose with the Orioles. Corey with the Tigers and Pirates. Barry with the Cardinals. Corey with the Rockies. Alex with the Twins. Corey with the Red Sox. Michael uh, Michael G. with the Cleveland Guardians. Michael F. with the Royals, Marlins, and Angels. Barry with the Nats. Jose with the Braves. Michael F. with the Mets. Corey with the Reds. Michael F. with the Yankees and Mariners. Jose, Tampa Bay Rays. Corey with the Dodgers. Michael G. with the Diamondbacks. Michael uh, F. with the A's. Corey with the Giants. Barry with the Astros. Alex with the Padres. Michael F. with the Rangers. Corey with the White Sox. Alex with the Cubs. Michael G. with the Phillies. Corey with the Brew Crew. And Michael F. with the uh, Toronto Bluebirds, the Blue Jays. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video just for a moment. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Uh, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. No deals were done. So the list remains the same. Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Now, I don't know how many of these cases, kind of heavy, how many cases uh, my colleague Jason did over the, uh, over the last couple days, but I don't think we've seen... A super fractor yet? Have we seen anything like that? A train whistle caliber hit out of five and under? I don't think so. Maybe this is the case where that happens. So the box topper is Jonathan India. Nice. Keep the silver packs up there. You can see on the top camera. And obviously we'll do a recap at the end of this long break. Anybody actually, except for Glowbug, anyone actually in this break who's watching live? Or am I flying, flying solo on this one? Corey's here. All right, Corey. Good luck. Nice. Watching with the nephew who's eight. You let him pick his team. Only 
yeah, okay, Dodgers, Dodgers stuff. It's not bad. It's a good way to start the collection for the eight-year-old nephew. All right, good luck, nephew. Good luck, Corey. What's it? Loop? Good luck, Loop. You're watching on the big screen. You won't be typing, but you'll be with me. All right. Good. Hopefully we'll be able to, able to hopefully we'll call your number frequently during this break. Ryan's here. Ryan's excited to be here, but you're not in this break. All right, well, you can help spectate, make sure I don't miss anything. Now, I know there, these are the same team, but I know there's a lot of cards where there are different players in these three slots, or sometimes it's just a two-player card. Um, unless they're numbered, they'll be evenly distributed to each of the three teams there. Just FYI. That's a better example, right? These, those three right there. I think by the time this entire case is in, there's enough of those where we can, where we can distribute them. Our first hit is a Dallas Garcia Arlington Pride City Flag Patch, for, for Michael and the Rangers. Apparently, that new ballpark's really nice out there. And Corbin Burns is usually followed by Wander Franco, and, and then followed Wander Franco, or Yelich is followed by Wander. It's usually Burns, Franco, Yelich. Generally, those fall one per box, Jose. Oh, this nice one for the nephew. That's a Julio Urias short print. The card numbered, the, I know it's kind of hard to read there, but it says 6-0 and the short prints are usually flipped around. That's Julio Urias. The top of the rotation guy for the, uh, for the Dodgers. There he is hitting, which we're not gonna, we're not gonna see anymore. Julio Urias for the Dodgers. And we got Jose Altuve, Major League Material, piece of his lumber. For Barry and the Astros. Uh, he was here earlier, Joe P. Logan, Joe P's looking for you. All right, there's Marco Gonzalez, 1490 out of 2022 for the M's. That will be for Michael and the Mariners. Paging Logan Collister. Paging Logan Collister. Joe P on the other line. Did 
Does that mean Otani won't be able to hit and pitch at the same time, or is it different for him? Well, the the American League that already has the DH, so he's just in the DH spot. So I guess technically, pitchers could hit in the NL if they're placed. If the pitcher is the starting pitcher is placed in the in the uh, in the DH spot, but I think it's pretty unlikely we're going to see a lot of starting pitchers in that DH spot. Maybe never say never, but perhaps there'll there'll be some starting pitchers who are like, "Hey, I want to hit," and there's some decent hitting pitchers out there. So I'll never say never, but it'll be few and far between, I would imagine. CP3 out for sale. Yeah, I saw that, Joe P. It's some wild news. Well, your son's. Have supreme depth, remember? Next man up. They'll do fine. No excuses, right, Joe P? And there's your autograph, Kyle Seeger. Baseball star's autograph for the M's, Michael. Seventy six out of ninety nine. Oh, silver packs. Jokey, there's no excuses. They should be playing at the same level. Don't don't make excuses. Oh, but there's tough teams coming. That's what you would say to me. If I said I was like, oh, well, Anthony Davis and LeBron James, I'm Joe P. You'd be like, no excuses. Next man up, depth shouldn't matter. If you build your team, if you build your team right, no excuses, Joe P. There's Jazz Chisholm. Sounds like excuses, Joe P. CP3 has won you some games in the fourth quarter. Sounds like excuses. And Joe P, you said you guys have the best depth in the NBA. These should be easy for the Suns to make up at least 10 assists per game. Easy. No big deal. Yeah. See? Show some confidence, like Ed. Because it sounds like you're making up excuses. What if I was just like, oh, well, without Anthony Davis, you know, the Lakers will have to make up, you know, 25 points and 10 rebounds a game, and you'd laugh in my face, Joe P. You'd be like, ha, ha, ha. Those are just excuses, Joe. Joe Jaspi is what Joe P. would say to me. AD sucks, but, well, he sucks because he's, he's never on the court. All right, next box. Uh, I get it, though, Joe P. When it's your team, the rules change. I 
We got 005 out of 300, Yasmani Grandal. Double O five out of three hundred. Those are this is the advanced stat card for the White Sox. That'll be for Corey. Oh, Corbin Burns. There's Wander Franco. Also, how did I guess I totally missed that bit of news. How did he how did Chris Paul like I saw him in that thumb splint or was it thumb fractured, thumb splint, something like that? How did that happen? I heard during the All Star game, like I think it was Ali LaForce who was reporting and she said during the Houston game, but there was no like I didn't see like a replay of it. I didn't even realize that there was like I didn't realize there was like even an issue. Last game, passing the ball, hit the defenders. All oh. And we got Rysel Iglesias. By La Mos. Let the rhythm take you over by La Mos. 27 out of 222. 2022. Angels Michael with the Halos. And these silvers and gold are not numbered, but of course, everything ships. Oh, the I saw the. Oh, yeah, that's because he's a dirty player, Joe. That that's what Joe. That's what you'd say to me, if any Laker of mine got uh. Got ejected. It's just because Chris Paul is just a dirty player, Joe. That's why. Son should really start playing some clean basketball. Just dirty. Dirty ref. Did the ref like throw a hip check into Chris Paul? Another Wander Franco. Oh, Dale Murphy. That kind of popped out. Surprised me there. Dale Murphy, 1987 Topps baseball card autograph for Jose and the ATL. CP3 lacks the uh, lacks the court vision to get out of the way of the ref. Is that what you're saying, Joe P? That's what I'm. That's what I'm reading. He just didn't watch where he was walking and ran right into CP3. CP3 is the athlete. He should have been able to to bounce out of the way, like a like a graceful gazelle. No. Is CP3 it's getting old? Is his eyesight failing him? CP3 is the athlete, not the ref. <laughs> Actually, the refs still have to run up and down the court. They're kind of athletes, too. 
Los Angeles Pride, Clayton Kershaw. That's what CP3, CP3 should have had his blinker on, Joe P. Why didn't, why didn't, just irresponsible for CP3, should have had his blinker on. All right, next, oh, Silver Packs. Now, sometimes you can see numbered cards out of the Silver Pack cards, sometimes an autograph, but not in these two packs. Oh, a Wander Franco box topper. I don't know what these go for, but... Still cool, though. I'll go to Jose, who got randomized the Tampa Bay Rays. Sometimes the Christian Yelich is right there, then we don't know where the Wander is. It's not like it's it's not like it's right there. So sometimes that screws with the, the Wander Franco pattern pattern. All right, let's go next box. We got a Max Kranich, eighteen ninety four, out of twenty twenty two. Taking it to the Max Pirates, Corey and the Buckos.
Got a Mark McGuire die cut, A's edition. Didn't Ali Oop come from Chikern? Trey Mancini, black border for the Orioles, Jose. It's out of 71. Twenty one out of seventy one. And the Man of Steel, Ricky Henderson, piece of his lumber. For Michael and the Oakland A's. The autograph is for the twins, Griffin Jacks. Minnesota, that'll be for, for Alex Globug with a little ink. And a Jazz Chisholm short print. Nice. That's Michael and the Marlins. Michael F. I think the numbers are kind of tiny. I think it's 6-0 on the back. I think he, there's another set of numbers where it's a super short print. I don't, I don't think I've seen a super short print yet, but... But a short print nonetheless. Pretty nice in a big set like this. And nice, these are pretty cool. MLB silhouetted batter logo medallion, Bryce Harper. They're manufactured medallions, but I don't know, still looks cool. Philadelphia, Michael G with the Phillies. Corbin Burns, Juan Franco, but Michael Conforto, not Yelich. And of course, we'll do a uh, autograph and relic recap at the end. Ernie Banks, let's play two.
No, John James. Nothing too crazy in those silver packs. All right, folks, we are halfway through this full case break. So we got about another 30 or so minutes to go. There's the Nate Pearson box topper for the Blue Jays. That will be for Michael F. Jason pulled you a Ryan Howard out of this for you. Well, what else did you get, Rex? Seems like you had a pretty decent break. What team did you get? Who was the other guy you got early? Oh, you got you got you got randomized the Rays, right? Yeah, Ryan Howard. This is pretty good. I feel like well, there's some knee injuries or something like that that got in the way because he dropped off pretty quickly. He had started off sort of the first chunk of his career really hot. I mean, like, we're talking, like, possible, possible, like, Hall of Fame trajectory hot. But... No, I think his body betrayed him. And I think he was, I don't know what he's doing these days, but I thought Ryan Howard was trying to get into broadcasting at some point. Maybe he's still doing that somewhere or was doing that somewhere. Rays, Phillies, Giants. That's not a bad draw. Well, all cards shipped. I'm sure you might get a stack of like commons, Rex, for San Francisco. And Buster Posey, home field advantage. That's for the Giants. That's for Corey. My rivals, the Giants. There you go, Pool Buster Posey. Rex, have you looked up what that, you said you got a silver Wander Franco, right? The silver border one? Have you looked up uh, what what that, what those are going for on a secondary market? Another wander.
And a Michael Brantley, 142 out of 199 for the Strohs. It's going to be for Barry. Last one I saw yesterday sold for That's not bad. Got Rod Carew die cut. Major League Material, DJ LeMahieu. For the Yankees, that's for Michael F. And the Bronx Bombers. your autograph that is Stuart Fairchild rookie autograph in that 1987 design that that sounds about right Rex Now the race will be to see who's going to get like PSA 10s for those Wanders. Yeah, if he if he starts the season hot, we could see a little. A little bump in the base, but but I think now the name of the game is let's try to get PSA tens out of those. Bryce Harper, and then hope that not a lot of the Wanderers end up being PSA tens, and then that'll 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 kind of build out that market. That's a six out of ten, Bryce Harper. I can not really maybe the red background. Can't really tell when these are numbered or not. But that's out of 10. That's pretty cool. Michael G. with the Phillies. All right, another box in the books. A couple silver packs. And that's a different parallel right there. Nice, a green Raphael Devers. 98, kind of hard to see the number right there. 98 out of 99. That is for Corey and the Boston Red Sox. Kind of, you can see the difference in color right there. Alright, 
Second to last box, almost there. There's Nick Madrigal, Cubs edition. That'll be for Alex and the Cubbies. And then here's the silver packs. And there's Alex Bregman, 1120 out of 2022. Is that when the uh, the Magna Carta was signed? Was that twelve something? I think for now, Craig, just random teams. But um, I'm pretty sure there are personal boxes available on Instagram, Craig, if you just want to grab a box for yourself. At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live. Which is pretty much a random box break. How do I think Javi will do in... To try, I think he'll do fine. He's a pretty solid player. You know, I feel like this that's a pretty good lineup, so I think he'll be pretty well protected in that lineup, especially as the bigger like Spencer Torkelson gets called up in the next couple of years or so. He could be a little up and down with the bat, but but obviously that glove is always is what's going to keep him signed and playing often. I think he'll be fine. How old is he again? It's Tony Gwynn, blue border. Corey, uh, no, check that. That's going to be Alex with the Padres. They have a big farm system. I think they have the same number of players as everyone else's farm system, I'm pretty sure. 
And a chip off the old block, Chipper Jones for Jose and the Braves. Do they really have a, like, literally a big farm system? More acreage. 29, 30th in the year. Would he sign a five year deal or something like that? That's pretty solid. I think that's a that's a smart deal for the Tigers too. Oh right, yeah. The break credit is tied to yeah. If you win break credit here, it only works here. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, I don't know, Craig. I'll uh, I'll see if. I'll see if the the powers that be want want to do more of those random box breaks, but I think we've been kind of pushing people to the Instagram channel for those. So I wouldn't hold my breath. There's Drew Ellis, Diamondbacks, Michael G. See a Carlton die cut. Seven years. That's not bad, I guess. And we've got a Byron Buxton, the Minneapolis Pride City patch here. And that will be for Alex in Minnesota. Blue bug. Numbered, Anthony Rizzo, Yankees, to 150. That is 100 out of 150, Michael F. and the Bronx Bombers. All right, final box. At long last, box six in this six box jumbo. We've got Tristan McKenzie. Sporting the new Guardians logo right here on this card. I feel like he had a pretty nice year last year. All right, maybe the 495 ERA doesn't really show what he did, but 136 strikeouts in 120 innings. I feel like he started pitching a lot better as the as the year went on.
Next is saying, if Rizzo never goes back to the Cubs, he hopes the Yankees re-sign him. Yeah, it seemed like a good fit there. A lefty at Yankee Stadium. Not too shabby. It'll work out well. a little bit All right. and last box good luck uh oh is that a randomizer 16 27 out of 20 22 it is between the Brewers and the Dodgers Corey has the Brewer. Corey also has the Dodgers. The ruling on the field is overturned. Corey has the Brewers and Dodgers. That's easy. No randomizer. One person happy, zero people sad. All right, another Wander Franco for Jose. Nothing too crazy raise-wise except for those Wander Franco rookie cards. Let's see if we can find something special in here somewhere in this last box. Yeah, I, get, I definitely get out of a randomizer, Rex, which is good. I don't have to make anyone sad <laughs> or extend the length of this, this video. But mostly, I don't want to make people sad. That's why I always tell people, hey, check the checklist. You know, if the team that you're buying has a dual auto attached to it, you know, then, then buy that second team there. That's really the... Those are the sort of sharp plays that could sort of incrementally maximize your uh, your breaking experience. It's Andre Jackson, 120 out of 149. It's a green parallel for Corey and the Dodgers. Nice. Made a few spot start last year that looked pretty good. Has some good stuff. I guess if he turns that into consistency, maybe less walks. Throws, the, throws that good stuff for strikes more consistently. That could be could be an entry entryway into the rotation for him. We got a Jose Abreu. Nice. That must be yeah. There it is. Six out of twenty-five. Nice and a thicker card stock here. This goes to the White Sox. Corey with the White Sox. Interesting. 
Not Corbin Burns, Wander Franco, but no Yelich this time. So it looks like this is just slightly out of the regular order, but Corbin Burns still reveals the Wander Franco. And there's the autograph, Doc Gooden. A little, little smear there, unfortunately. But still Doc Gooden for Michael F. and the Metropolitans. 110 out of 199. Mike Trout die cut, Ryan Sandberg. Detroit Pride, Miguel Cabrera. That'll be for Detroit, Corey, with the city flag patch card. And that, my friends, is that. Let's see what's in the, uh, the silver pack. Do you do all, do you all do breaks during the day tomorrow since it's a holiday, not a holiday for us? We're not bankers. We're, we're in the retail industry, so we are definitely open. There's Connor Wong, that's an autograph, nice. Boston, that'll be for Corey, last spot mojo. 95 out of 199, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. All right, there you go, gang. Do I have to randomize? No, no randomize, nothing. Here's a quick recap. From the last hit to the first hit. Pretty solid break. Nice medallion. Nice home field advantage card. That's a short print, by the way. The Jazz Chisholm for Miami. That goes to Michael F. Dale Murphy. And a Julio Urias short print, so two short prints in this. And there you go, gang. 
I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was six box jumbo random team break number nine. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.